All right, the YouTube video has begun. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and dwarves who can't stop talking about their job opportunities, and welcome to Zero Charisma. My Please name is... tell me about the job opportunities. I'm so desperate. <laughs> My name is Frosty. Uh, the other people here can introduce themselves if they'd like. I'm guessing that now that I've said if they'd like, at least one of them is going to just refuse to. Yeah, I was planning on it. <laughs> well, then why don't you go first? Ah, oh no, I'm Sean Saxum. Oh my god. Ha, it was actually a trick. I wanted to introduce myself first and advertise the stuff I do. Ha! You've been tricked! I'm Sean wow. Saxum. I play Old Man Elmer. Uh, I, I think that's his name. I, it's been a bit. Um, it is Old it Man Elmer, right? It's been way too long. Yes, it is Old Man Elmer. <laughs> yeah, I play Old Man Elmer. Um, I am also very cool, and you should look me up on Twitter and follow me. Lies and deceit, sir. What'd you say? Lies and deceit. Lies and deceit? Are you saying I'm not cool or I'm not on Twitter? Definitely not cool. You are unfortunately on Twitter way too much. <laughs> <laughs> I made the funniest tweet yesterday, okay? I don't want to hear it from you. I said, I made a tweet that said, who the fuck is Sean Saxon? And it was so funny. And it got so many likes, Wait. so many comments. Wait, no, you've used up our one... so popular. You've used up our one F-bomb. Now we're... If Wait, we use any oh, yeah. more, we're going to lose our PG-13 rating. You gotta you watch know. your fucking oh, language. No. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, Oh, no! No! no. <laughs> Fuck. Anyways, I guess we'll just move along with this eventually. Yeah, you okay, you Hi, yeah, guys. Watch your fucking mouth. Here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, guys. My name is Multi. I am playing uh, Pepper, or Smevla Peppernackle. We love that. Uh, yeah. Um, I have nothing else to say, so. <laughs> Moving right along. Dylan, you should go next. <laughs> I'll abstain. Well, luckily somebody else introduced him already. That's Dylan. He was the one I expected to abstain, so... That's not surprising, yeah. Actually, Hi, can I abstain? I'm Dylan, and, and I'll be playing Maverith Avergate, the Goliath Ranger. And now he's just introducing himself to prove me wrong. But little <laughs> does he know that I manipulated him into doing that. Eat oh, shit. shit. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Alright, we got three people left. Sorry. Hey, Amelia, why don't you go? <laughs> uh, alright, um... So I'm Amelia. Okay, shut up. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Amelia. I'm playing Odra Aeschylus, a wizard, I guess. Uh, um, I am doing your mother. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Currently in the process of doing your hey. mother right now, Amelia. I almost you said say. your full name. <laughs> Currently at your mom's house. Yeah. Um... Yep. Yeah, that's that's so the advantage of doing these is. online games is that that uh, Amelia can play while doing your mother viewer, your yeah. you, you specific viewer that is watching this right now, and only you, Amelia Wait. is currently doing your mother. Wait, that's me! Oh no, <laughs> Amelia's doing my mom. <laughs> I almost made a joke about how I was doing the viewer's dad, and then I realized that I was the viewer. <laughs> That one. <laughs> Which would be bad. Oh, no. Just like exit off the stream and then make the joke. I feel like th I feel like this is setting the tone for this for this series far better than anything in the previous episode. Sean, the better joke so. would you should have said that you were doing Amelia's dad. Oh yeah, I'm doing Amelia's dad. There, thank you. I added out the part where I didn't say that, please. Also, while we're on the topic, I, I wanted don't to edit abstain, these videos. Like, in, uh, Just so you're aware. I was gonna say I actually wanted to abstain from making my introduction and ask you to edit it out. Uh, I, I don't like, edit these. In the past, mm, damn, I, low quality. 
I have literally <laughs> never edited a video for my channel. <laughs> video you just upload the VOD. Anyways, we have two people left to introduce. Uh, hi, I'm Zentillo. I am playing Craig, the uh, Hobgoblin, uh, formerly Barbarian, now taking a trek into the world of wizardry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Spicy. <laughs> well, hey. that just leaves one. And I will abstain. And he will abstain. Are you just <laughs> abstaining because you don't want to have to say your character's name? I mean, he already shortened it by like four words and still can't fucking get it right, so. <laughs> uh, uh, I plead the fifth. <laughs> uh, the Constitution does not exist in the Forgotten Realms. Oh, damn. They got you. Wow. Okay. I plead the fuck you. <laughs> Try to prosecute me. Are you sure you want that? The justice system is nowhere near as complex in the Forgotten Realms as it is in... Uh, I know they have to say my name at some point, and that's an issue. I have your name memorized. <laughs> no, it's not. It's do your characters in-game? No, they do not. Uh, they have your name on record. They can just read it off. They can just read it right there. How many people can read in the Forgotten Realms? A lot! Just because you usually play barbarians that cannot read does not mean that this is every a race, character this is, a is a barbarian that cannot read. Listen, the Wizards of the Coast would be incredibly disappointed by your gross oversimplification of what a barbarian is. Okay? I'm, I'm talking about your barbarians that you have created, none of which have been able to read. That's just by chance. Okay, all right. Once it ends. But it's I abstain. It never ends. And we have Gummy as <laughs> De... Uh, as Dennis El Remedios Cipriano de la Santissima Ruiz y Picasso the Third. Wow, what a name. Cipriano, it's Cipriano. You can't even say it right. I wonder where he got that from. Well, it's with, implication there. with introductions out of the way, hold on, I have to change the, the stream window. There we go. Yay. Now we can begin, and this time I have the face cam set up so that the viewers can see me, but nobody else, because I can't host Foundry, so I have to broadcast Foundry to Discord, and <laughs> Discord is now getting a free shout-out. Woo, Discord. Woo Everybody Discord. uses Discord anyways, it's not like... Um, it's about to say. <laughs> so. Uh, sorry, I felt like I was going to sneeze there, but then I didn't. How nice. Wow. Coward. Hell. <laughs> Coward. You see what I have to put up with? People. <laughs> That's right. I have witnesses to this now. That's nice. <laughs> won't make it any difference. It won't, so we don't give but a shit. It, it, it won't, but at least... At least... It, it... Moving on. Um, <laughs> last time on Zero Charisma. Normally I would say when last we left off, but there's not really a we because the party has not come together yet. Um, so last time on Zero Charisma, everybody was introduced oh. individually. Uh, we had uh, the, the Goliath dude uh, fighting some bandits, and then... Um, Shoot, I forget the, the order they were introduced in. Oh, wait, I have a calendar. Hold on. I, c I don't have to bring it up on my phone. I can just look at the calendar. Uh, then we had some guy with purple clothes and a purple afro talking with some people about his disappearance. And then we had a gnome beating the crap out of a, a dude that, like, went into the ring with just his fists and the gnome was using a war hammer so it didn't really seem like a fair fight but you know uh it's not my place to say you know, I 
Um, <clears throat> he, he decided not to bring up weapons. And so. then we had a hobgoblin going and getting an assignment from some lady that looked old but wasn't supposed to be old in a tower. And then we had an elf just getting just the worst beating. Just like, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty bad. Pretty brutal. And then we had an old guy complaining about inflation. <laughs> That's pretty much all that happened in his introduction, hey, if I'm much. being honest. What? So, um, yeah, that's right. So, yeah. Um, uh, now, uh, I, I, was, I was originally kind of going to begin... Uh, on on uh this is weird okay i was originally going to begin uh on the following day on the 25th uh when the meeting was scheduled but due to conversations with people we are beginning on the evening of the 24th um okay. elmer uh it's up to you whether or not you have yet uh, passed out drunk or whether you're still awake and drinking. What but, time is it in the day? Um, it's getting into the evening, like 8 or 9 p.m. approximately. Uh, I would say I'm still, I'm not passed out drunk quite yet. All right. And as you're uh, drinking... It looks so unsettling having all of those people look exactly the same. I really should have put some variation. Anyways, uh, wow. <clears throat> as you are drinking, uh, a different figure makes his way into uh, the ragged ring. Why is it not letting me open the door? The uh, as you see a blue-haired hobgoblin uh, make his way into the bar. Craig, if you would like to describe your appearance. So, Craig is... Uh, pretty average sized uh, for a hobgoblin. Uh, he's got this kind of dark, uh, ruddy, kind of reddish rust looking skin. Um, his hair is a uh, it's very light, like bluish gray. Um, obviously not natural. Uh, he's wearing some pretty simple uh, black and white robes. Um, he's got a whip on one side. Uh, and a book and a holster on the other. Uh, he just kind of comes in, uh, looking around, expecting to be uh, gawked at a little bit. Uh, he's not not unused to uh, the looks that he gets when he enters a more civilized area. And um, as he walks in, he does indeed get many looks of uh, va varying between... Uh, Veiled curiosity to open hostility as he makes his way into the tavern. And Craig, looking around, you see a variety of faces. Um, uh, many of, uh, m many different very different looking people as you can <laughs> <laughs> um uh one one catches your eye just due to a slightly unusual appearance uh elmer if you would like to old man elmer if you'd like to describe your appearance yeah, so old man elmer he's just uh, he's just sitting at the bar um drinking a lot with 
the money that he definitely has. Um, he's a very, very old man who, like, honestly, he's like he looks both muscular and extremely thin at the same time. Like, it's a little weird. Like, he looks like he he hasn't eaten anything in a days and a days. It also looks like he's been snorting uh, protein powder. So yeah, he's like has very muscular arms and legs, but like a very thin stomach. Um, he just has this, like huge beard, and he looks um, he looks like he's a hundred years old. Super just aged bags under his eyes, super wrinkly skin all over. Um, he has this uh, big, like, hammer next to him on his chair that he's sitting in. And, uh, yeah, he's just chucking drinks as much as he can. And his, his face is a very rosy red because he is currently very, very drunk. One thing that I will add to that description is parts of his body are disfigured by burn scars. Ah, yes. The room is yours, Craig and Elmer. Do not react. Like, I look over at Craig, like, for a moment, and, like, I'm not I'm not weirded out by it. I just kind of think, like, oh, that's, huh, fashion these days, I guess. And I just kind of turn back to my drinking. Uh, I want to kind of walk up to the, the middle of the bar in between Elmer and very uh, unique looking patron on the upper uh, left. <laughs> Alright, around yeah. there. Hello. What can I get you? I beg your pardon. I'm looking for a certain individual I was told would be looking for people here. He goes by the name of Gundred Roxy. Ah, rock seeker. Yeah, uh, he comes in here a fair amount. Um, haven't seen him tonight, but I mean, he he was talking to me a bit about uh, getting a private space to discuss some stuff uh, tomorrow night. So maybe look for him then. Sounds sounds about right. Just thought I'd be here a little early just in case. I mean, always you know if, best to be early for things. Uh, do you know if there's anybody else in here who uh, has spoken with him? I mean, that uh, elderly individual uh, had a very spirited conversation with him earlier today, in fact. Uh, there's been a few others that have uh, come in and out, but I don't think any of them are here right now. One is better than none. I appreciate it. Uh, can I have a, uh, let me get mail. Certainly. And she, uh, turns and heads over to one of the kegs behind her and, uh, fills up a tankard and sets it down in front of you. There you are. Uh, how much is that? Uh, that'll be, shoot. Sorry, I do. I don't have my my prices pr uh, with the player's handbook. Wow. I'm so wow. prepared. I'm so, so prepared. prepared. Right it's only wow. been two months. I I I haven't had that long to get ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's not such a long time at all. Well-oiled machine, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Well-oiled machine. No, Sorry, only but that I deserves could find a slow the clap, in uh, my opinion. That'll that'll be uh four coppers. Uh, I will drop that on the table. Thank you. She pockets the money. <laughs> uh, I will scoot over to Elmer. <sighs> Excuse me, old man. May I have a word with you? Uh, okay. Ah, oh, wait. No, that's not the voice. Hold on. How the fuck do I do this? You're was... talking to me? There it is. You're, you're talking to me? There it is. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I was told that you had spoken to a Gundred Roxy here. Okay, hold on. Before you continue, did you refer to me as old man as your way of greeting me? Yes, sir. It's very old. That's very rude. Is it? I just wanted to point it out. It's kind of weird. You did it like it was a very normal thing, but I don't, I don't, I, I don't appreciate that. Girl, I'm, 
I'm 700 years old, you know. Y'all show me some respect. And he oh, takes oh, another geez. sip of his drink. Yeah, yes, you are. Shoot, Quite good, hold I... on. I just realized that I don't have the tavern music playing. That's not the right one. I don't think that was the right one either, but I'm gonna go with it. Okay. They're playing a different song tonight. Alright, continue. My apologies, so where I'm from, someone who gets to look as old as you is often seen with respect. People from my tribes don't don't typically live that long. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. It's not that bad. It's not that good living that long, I'll tell you. It's kind of boring. Yeah. I mean, through all my 1,000 years of life, I haven't really done anything interesting. I've just been in a tower the whole time. Can I make an insight check on this guy? Uh, go ahead. What are you looking to glean? Uh, he said 700, and then he said 1,000. I'm, I'm trying to see... If there's any truth to his statements. Yeah. Like, go ahead. Or, or how much of this is just, like, drunkness. Uh, he seems that. fully prepared to tell you his entire life story, and, like, he <laughs> will do it if you don't stop him, and it might be correct, and it might not. That's a, that's a nine, I agree. I mean, he's, he's, he's an interesting individual. Um, he's definitely had a lot to drink. You, you can't tell whether or not that is a uh, factor in his statements. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I was told that you had spoken recently with a, a gentleman called Gundren Rockseeker. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. He, um... I... What did we talk about again? Possibly something about a job he was looking to hire some mercenaries for? Oh, yes! I remember that! I said yes, because I have nothing else to do! So, you will be joining him on his, on his journey. Too. Yeah, I'm planning. Gotta keep the my old bones fresh, you know? I've been around for uh, ten, uh, oh no, no, one thousand, two, two thousand years. And he takes another huge drink of like the ale or whatever he has. He, he probably doesn't even know what alcohol he's drinking at this point. I, I, I just look down and kind of <laughs> laugh to myself a little bit. Uh, I look over to uh, the the barkeep. Uh, maybe uh, maybe one uh, hobo special for the gentleman here. Uh, I'm implying water. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, <laughs> not I, can, that, I, don't know. <laughs> I can get you a bit of that. And she goes to a different keg, and you see you see a, a mug filling up with water. Just Here you are, go. sir. That one's on the house. Thank you! And I start chugging it immediately, not realizing it isn't alcohol <laughs> at all. Can I get, like, another ale, too? She she looks to you, Craig. I just, I just gotta shrug. <laughs> He'll buy it for me! <laughs> I'm just kinda like, do like that. You respect your elders, right? Alright. I look, I look at him and nod and think, of course, and then I look at her and do, like, the hand across the throat, like, no. And she she yeah. goes over to to the, um, the, the, uh, ale keg and, like, hides it from view and makes a show of, like, filling it up and then ha hands over another, uh, mug of water. Oh, weird-looking ale, but okay! And he drinks it. Uh, well, you have yourself uh, a good night, sir. I will see you on the morrow. Uh, and yeah, I'll just get, I'll get a room for the night. Uh, certainly. Um, a room for the night, uh, that would run you just the one night? Uh, for now. At least I don't know how much longer they right. want to stay. 
Um, well then, uh, just the one night that will, uh, run you, um, call it six silver. Yeah. Six silver? Back in my day, you could get a room at any inn for five copper pieces and three mugs of ale with it. He's been like this all day. My condolences. <laughs> I, I will pay the six silver and I head up to my room. Have a nice night, and she passes over the room key. Elmer, what are what would you like to do? As uh, this new individual you just met heads off to his room, it's it's really difficult to navigate with my mic in the way of this screen. <laughs> I'm starting. Okay, I'm not sure if he's actually going to be blackout drunk now. If the way, if the uh, if the bartender keeps giving him water, because he will not, he will not notice the difference. Uh, as once once Craig leaves, she goes back to giving you ales. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get blackout drunk. Then. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I think. Okay, yeah, I know it collides with a wall, but there is a path around the wall foundry. <laughs> All oh, right, I can't. This is why I do theater of the mind. Um. Beautiful. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Um, and as Craig beds down for the night, and you drink yourself. Uh into oblivion so, uh, the next day dawns with uh, with Elmer passed out on the floor of the ragged ring um. <laughs> yeah that sounds that. right <laughs> Am I just blind, or is there no asleep anymore? I see unconscious, but they're using... You can call him at the top. Ah, uh, I am blind. Yeah. Okay. All right. Gotta gotta do all the different DM configuration stuff. Uh, woo. Just gotta get it... Get the light levels back up, because it's morning now. Um... <laughs> I'm just going to delete some individuals from existence because they wouldn't there wouldn't be the same people there come morning. <laughs> just imagine. I mean Let's each one of those are some... completely different people obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all obviously. they're all very different individuals, clearly. <laughs> this this would go a lot faster if I didn't have a, like a spike of lag after every person being deleted from existence. <laughs> lag. Um, Just like real life. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, I hate it when it lags whenever I delete people from existence. <laughs> as, as the morning dawns, Elmer, you are passed out. Uh, Craig, you... Uh, wake up to a, uh, to a bright dawn in the city of Neverwinter, as does, uh, the gnome in the room neighboring yours. Hi. What would you two like to do with your morning? Well, um... I'm going to get out of bed and walk out immediately. <laughs> I have to go back and forth between these because for some reason it doesn't let me open the doors on the spectator account. Oh, how sucks. Where would you like to head to, Pepper? Um, I would like to head to... You're currently on the second floor. 
I want to head down to the first floor. Alrighty. And Craig, what would you like to do with your morning? Craig's going to spend some time just studying his book. Probably an hour or so. Why does it keep going back to Elmer? Focus on Pepper. There we go. Very important, apparently. <laughs> Even though you're Elmer's asleep. Very important. <laughs> Elmer, I'm just we, we all know like... Elmer's the real main character. Really? As you make your way down, you find a fairly empty bar. An old guy just passed out on the floor. Um, but because of the way I designed the token, for some reason, still with a chair. Um. He kind of just, like, looks and, at him. And Mila like, tending the bar. Well, uh, Pepper just kind of, like, looks at him, and she's like, oh. Uh, I'm just not gonna deal with that. So she's just gonna, like, walk the other way. Heading up to the, just, the second common room. Yeah. Just, like gonna just like find oh, a right. table to just... I have to open the doors on the DM screen because for some reason it can't open them on the spectator account. What fun. Alright. She's just gonna find like a table to just sit at. Maybe like a bar. Yeah, that one. Okay. She's just gonna kind of like sit there and wait. Alright. Because <laughs> she's like Whoa, hmm, some funky stuff going on me. with the shadows there. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with those. Window. Window. Yeah, but there's a wall on this entire wall segment, and yet you can see this. Oh, yeah, that is a little this weird. Is, <laughs> this is not That's the intended strange. shadow layout. Here, wait, look at that. Oh, I see, it's because it's showing some of Elmer's uh... perspective. That makes sense, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sometimes the shadows are just glitchy for no reason, so it's an understandable mistake to make. That makes sense. Particularly yeah, she's at just a distance. Gonna, she's just gonna sit there. All right. She's just gonna wait and look around. Uh, and as uh, shoot, how do I progress the calendar? One moment. <laughs> um, it's very complicated. Uh. Uh, hello, um, calendar. Okay, let's just ignore the calendar for now. Um, calendar oh wait, day ignored. forward. There is a day forward button. Wow. Oh, my god. Alright, there we go. Um, and as you wait there, as midday approaches, uh, Elmer, how how at what at what time do you think you'll eventually end up waking up? Um, oh, what time would I have gone uh, to sleep? I guess. Uh, given how heavily you were drinking, probably within an hour or two of Craig heading up to his room. Oh uh, well, what time is it now? You said. Around it's about midday. Okay, I would say I'm waking up around now. All right, and as you're waking up. As you're as you're starting to come to, um, a very strangely dressed individual. The the you've seen a few strange individuals, uh, well mainly just the hobgoblin, but this this individual, despite seemingly being a human, almost appears stranger as he comes into the tavern. Uh, Dennis, if you would like to describe your appearance. Dennis was finishing his sandwich. <laughs> Such unprofessionalism. <laughs> Good sandwich. So Dennis is a average looking man <laughs> with um he's he's got like a lot of British aspects on his uh facial features. He has um if you look very closely, buck teeth, like Timmy Turner. Um some would say like a bunny, I would say Timmy Turner is like a very close, um, I don't know, like comparison. And he has a huge afro, um, and it's purple, lavender almost. And 
I don't know. He he's he's like a very short man. Not like very short, just like, you know, shorter than average, but he composes himself, like holds himself very high, always standing up straight. And he's um is he, he's Dennis. Do you need me to say his full name? I will say it one time. I'm I'm going to wait for you for when you Okay, wait wait for yourself. it. To inca- okay. Okay, okay, okay. Because then you're going to have to say it in an accent. If, if you guys don't know, this has been my biggest struggle with this character. I don't know why I chose a character with a super long name. <laughs> yeah. This, this name was... Wondered. It was reduced. This is like a very reduced, reduced name. Yes, yes. he has, yeah, he has like cut out multiple deal. parts That's of the name. That's a reduced name? Yes, yes. it was, it was very... originally uh, Dennis Adekle Felkernoff, Salter Medias, Capriano de la Santissima Trinidad Ariz, because the third. Oh. Yeah, reduced. and I said, screw that. And we, we, we made it slightly more manageable. I think we cut and... out the Zodacrophil Carnophis and the Trinidad. Yeah. The Trinidad was almost a little, like, redundant, because we already said the third. You know, I was like, come on, you know. Oh, yeah, good reasoning. Yeah, yeah. you're right. <laughs> you're so I'm like, right. come on. As, yeah, as, as you enter the bar, Dennis, you see a, an, a, an old guy passed out on the floor, uh, well, starting to come to. Um... What would you like to do? Um, Dennis is going to maybe look in disgust, but not really mind much. Um, he's so ah oh, fuck no 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 he's not going that way no 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 he would he would go all the way around the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 all the way around. Uh. <laughs> yes. Um. Nope. He he wouldn't want to. Talk to that person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. He would go all the way. Yes. Around. Yeah. To the Is last stool. Cold, yes. The last stool. And then, can I kind of like give that guy to my or girl? Is it a guy to or girl? I know that they, they're all guys. So I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, I meant to make a female commoner, it's... but then I just forgot. So it is. Um, it is female. I'm. I'm happy. Yeah. But no, this this one is male. I meant to oh, make fuck. a female Damn one. It. <laughs> Okay, okay. So I look to the male to my left, and can I, like, kind of glare? Like, why the fuck are you sitting next to me? Even though I just sat down. <laughs> and like... then, as you do, he just, like, slowly shifts over a stool. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then, you, and then you, um... you start to realize that you didn't exactly get the most ideal bar stool, because there's the brassiere in front of you. It, it's cold outside. Dennis was a little... <laughs> It is cold. Is it? Is it cold? It's it's. <laughs> we can it's spring, but we can say it's like a colder spring day. Okay. Sure. There we go. And then um, Dennis is going to wave over the bartenders. She she makes her way over try, like around the 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 flaming brazier. What can I get you? Oh, you're back. Yeah, um, hello. <clears throat> Do you remember what yes. I did, prefer? Did you, want, did you want the hot ale again? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just... <laughs> at, at, at midday. It's... It's it's a tough day every day. I'm having a tough like day. like that, I'd imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need some ale. And she, Dennis she, had been um Dennis had been crying all night. <laughs> very... She she Aww. fills up he, a, a mug of he's ale. He's got sunken and then, eyes, you know, loss of sleep. And then goes into the kitchen to s- presumably heat up your ale. Because mm. <laughs> um DM not only yesterday did he find out how long the it was, it was actually I... uh it, it was it was not yesterday it oh. was um. One, then two, it... three, four, five, six, seven, eight days ago. Good. I would have given him ten days. I'm. St- I, st- I still give him ten days to mourn, but. <laughs> but he not only did he find out how long it was, he found out um. The um the other aspect look wise, and he's like fuck. <laughs> yeah. So. Anything so, yeah. you'd like to do while waiting for your hot ale so the old man's passed out the old man is coming I'm, I'm too coming old, too. What would, oh he's what coming would you too like to do as well old man elmer 
Um, actually, I, I think he heard you ordering the hot ale and was like, if he was a little bit more awake, he probably would have jumped over and also ordered one. Because he just kind of, uh, everything he sees, like, he's just, he's been he's in, alcohol, out of society yeah. for a while. Oh, this, so this he's must like, be this must be trend. like what people do nowadays. Yeah. Hot ale must be like the hit new thing. And these trash fashion trends must also be like normal. But he has he didn't quite make it in time, so he's just waiting for her to come back to order one now. Oh, Elmer is gonna end up dressing Actually, like Dennis wait. before the end of the campaign. Honestly, a possibility. Actually, wait. How do I feel after getting blackout drunk? Uh, very hungover. Um, you yeah. Are... And what's the cure to a hangover? That makes sense. Okay, maybe I wouldn't drink anymore. I can't. I, I can't I handle it. The, like I could oh, I thought when the I was cure to a uh, hangover was more drinking, but. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, if you tell him that in character, he'll probably believe you. You'd have Elmer's, to ask Dennis. Elmer's probably not really gotten drunk very much, I'm guessing, until recently. No, probably not. He's it's loving it, while. though. I am loving it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I won't do anything for now. You get very quickly do you, become do an Do you alcoholic. get back into a bar stool and off the floor, at least? No. Just lying there. I'm just gonna there. lay there for a second. Like, uh, I don't really It's, it's part of the it. experience. Yeah. Wait, so who else is in the bar? It's me, Elmer, and who else? Uh, it's you, you and the old guy, uh, currently. But, um, before too long, um, another individual comes down the stairs. Uh, if, if it will let him move. There we go. Um, a... Uh, an individual with hair even more brightly colored, though not quite as egregiously colored as, as than than yours, um, a a hobgoblin uh, comes down into the uh, common room. Craig, what would you like to do? Oh. I kind of see that the old man is conscious. Uh, Just laying on the floor with his eyes open. And yeah. you see this egregious looking individual over here. That's the second Craig, time I used this? egregious in like as many sentences, pretty much. Yeah, you can really say it's an egregious <laughs> overuse of the word. It really is, that. yeah. Uh, Craig notices that for once, most of the eyes aren't on him. <laughs> He just kind of takes note of that, and then he goes, steps over to the old man, and kind of looks down. You remember me? Oh, oh yeah, I remember you. Guy with the blue hair, yeah. Okay. And I just walk, I just walk over to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> just get some breakfast. Wait, no, no, like that. Eventually, the, the, uh, Barkeep. There, there are a lot of obstacles in the kitchen, and it's proving difficult to navigate. I could just click and drag, but I didn't. Uh, comes out What's with it? your hot ale, <laughs> Dennis, and passes it over to you. That'll be uh, four coppers. Five make it actually for the trouble. Huh. <laughs> just does it right through his face. Oh my god. <laughs> like no, it, it, it's actually one more extra because troublesome. Because fuck you, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> fuck you, basically. Dennis, she's talking to you. Oh, sorry, dude. I literally was like muted, and I was like role play. Um, <laughs> um he says thank yeah. you, and he tosses the silver because he understands the trouble. And she. I said that like five times. She like has to reach out to try and catch it before it falls in the brazier and just uh, turns around and walks over to uh Craig. Uh what can I get you? Whatever you have for breakfast today is fine. Right, uh egg suit you then? Eggs will be fine, thank you. Sure thing. I'll tell Cookie. Another round of eggs. 
And you, sir? And she goes up to the other guy at the bar and starts taking his order. Is there anything else that you lot would like to do? Elmer's gonna be very offended if she does not take his order. <laughs> He's still lying on the floor! Yeah, I know. If you told him that, he would probably change his mind, but nobody has yet. You know, back in his day. <laughs> back in his day. Now I had an onion in my belt, because that was the fashion at the time. <laughs> Eventually, your eggs get brought out, Craig. Um, they're pretty good. Not not th not necessarily the best, but probably some of the best that you've had. Um, as this is a pretty uh, prestigious tavern, all things considered. Um, she never gets around to taking your order while you're laying there on the floor, Elmer. God damn it! Back in my day! <laughs> he just starts muttering to himself. It's like... I can't believe this. Alright. Just gonna... There we go. Just progressing the time of day a little. There we go. Very nice. All right. It would, if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, would it be all right if Pepper could get some food too? <laughs> uh, yeah, Pepper uh, up here in the, I'm just in like the other common room <laughs> up here. Um, shoot, why do I not have Sorry. any employees in here? Hold on. Uh, wow. Watch this. Watch this. It's it's a magic trick. Watch. <laughs> Look at the service this place has. <laughs> wow. This guy service. just materializes. All right. Uh, what what can I get you? Uh, just give me whatever you got. All right. Oh, I can do that. To be clear, though, you, are you looking for like a meal and a drink, or just a drink, or just a meal, or like? Cause um, you, I mean, you can be. We we do have a lot of stuff here. Apologies. Uh, a meal and a drink would be great, please. All right. And he heads off to the kitchen to get your meal. Eventually brings it back. Much, uh, much the same as Craig. You ended up with eggs, um, and uh, just a glass of water because nothing else was specified. It's on the house for you. It's on the house for you, because you work okay. here. Yay. Thank you. Just, like, kind of just says as he's walking away. Just starts eating. <laughs> he has food. All right. Progress oh. the, I'm just going to progress the day <laughs> forward since... All right. Anybody... It, would anybody like to do anything in, in the time between... Now and the next significant occurrence. He'll probably actually. Uh, old man Elmer will probably actually get on a bar stool. <laughs> maybe right. Finally. eventually. I'll like like, maybe roll a, roll like a two hours. It. Two hours later. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you're. Hours later. Shoot! I just turned on caps lock accidentally. <laughs> oh, you're finally up. What can I get you? Just some water, please. All right, I can do oh, that. Damn, I haven't had a, I haven't had a hangover in one thousand years. Here you are. Thank you. And I drink it. And you drink it, you do. Eventually, as. Oh, did you want to say something? No. All right. As <laughs> time progresses throughout the day, um, do you all just sit there on the bar stools for the entire day, or? 
No, I'm. I think um, Dennis is gonna going to order ale after ale, and once he's drunk enough, he's gonna challenge someone into the Thunderdome, whatever it's called. The Ragged Ring. The Dragon Ring. The Ragged Ring. It's, it's literally at the top of the screen. Man. Ragged Ring, this. The Thunderdome. The Dragon Ring. It's the, the ragged, ragged Ring. It's literally at the top of the screen. It's right there. All of my names are like alternates. They're like, they were the second and third choice. <laughs> Alright, uh... So he's like, is he good and drunk now? This is like now noon? I probably, yeah. Ha have you drunk enough to the point where you are intoxicated, or...? Yes. Alright. Wait, we'll just... what's my constitution? Let me um, check. Your constitution... Do you, have the do you have your character sheet, or shall I check for you? Can you check for me? I'm pulling it up though. It is it's on twelve. Google. Yeah, I'm drunk. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> apply the poisoned condition to you. Good. <laughs> good. Good. Not that good. No, I need like the negative because I'm drunk. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you just challenge some random patron to the ring, or do you try to find like an actual contestant? I think I'm going to go back into the. I'm. Am I in the bar? I, at this point, I I move. I moved you over to the door that serves as the entrance to the ring. All right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see see where those two people are eating. These two. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, gonna jump on top of that table. <laughs> and go like, oh. All right. You ready? <laughs> I need help. I need. I need to prepare myself. Jesus. I'm sorry, but as this is happening, I just want Pepper to just like look over and like. What the... So so he doesn't get up here elegantly. He like tries to get up with like just one step, like you would on like a horse, and then he like slips and like falls, and his knee hits it, then his head hits the table. Then he's like crawling up, like he's trying to get out of a pool. It's really embarrassing. And then he gets on the table. He stands on top. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, all you patrons. I'm sick and tired of tomfoolery. Fight me in your ragged, your ragged ring, and I will prove that I am. A challenger. Get the fuck off the table. <laughs> Why don't you make <laughs> man I, he like stumbles off. He like falls. I I he lands on his like butt, I hope. Does he hit his head? Do you want me to roll? Uh, go He's ahead gonna, and like... roll an acrobatics <laughs> check <laughs> with this man. Roll athletics. Ac roll acrobatics with disadvantage. <laughs> All right, let me open the dice. I'm, I haven't opened the pack. I'm not going to be the DM that that kills you in the second session, but I am also not gonna not be the DM that that screws with you when you get wasted in the second session. <laughs> gotcha. All right, new pack open. A uh, DM. Yes. A quick question on my. Uh, okay video is a bit okay, off but... my, sorry my, my page i still have like three out of 14 hit points do i do i get those points back oh yeah <laughs> um i i i did the long rest thing on your uh your foundry uh avatar but i did not do it on um i'm on it right now so i can do it but i did not do it on your uh your other thing your I'm thing it right now did it. Uh, Thank you. Don't worry about it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yep. You're you're back to full. You I, you have all your stuff back. I rolled a five, or at plus one. Yeah. You just like slip as you're like stumbling and you fall back off the table and land just on your back and your head cracks against the floor. Uh, not literally cracks, but like, uh, you you. Well, like, you, like, have an, you have an no, afro like... that pads it, so you you take two points of damage still, though. Okay. And then I stand up. So who? Uh... <laughs> so who? Uh... 
So who who wants to fight me? Shit, go fuck off. Sit down. Make me. And then okay. he burp. He burps. I can't do a big burp. <laughs> I I want Pepper to get up from her seat and walk over. <laughs> and then she's like, "Sorry." Uh, excuse me. What's the commotion all about here? What? Well, and I like look around, but I like I, I. And is she short? If, if you'd like I'm, to describe what your character looks like. Uh, Pepper is a pretty short individual. Uh, I forgot actually how tall. Give me a second. I'm pretty sure she's like as tall. She uh, is uh, three foot two. Yeah, so she's about weird. as tall as you. No, that's that's actually a lie. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, she uh, pretty much <laughs> pretty much um, very short, uh, with blackish blackish short hair, um, light skinned, uh, pretty muscly. I would say because she is a fighter. Um, a lot of pink. So yeah. That's all I have to say. I don't have anything. <laughs> this this tiny gnomish individual approaches you and well, what? and I, so he like um when when she approaches and says that he looks and then he doesn't look down. He just looks like to his right. And he has no clue like who's talking to him. He's like, huh? <laughs> and he, so that is. Dennis is just looking around and confused. He's not even saying anything. He's just looking around. She, she will, like, raise her hand and be like, Down here, you dimwit! And then he, he, he notices. He's like, Oh! Um, yeah. are you lost? Do your, <laughs> Excuse me? Do your parents know you're here? This is an adult bar! A tavern! For Excuse adults. me, I'm not that young. And then he's like burping. He hiccups or whatever. I slide over really all the helmet and like five gold on the little one. <sighs> you've you've come the over into, into the second common room. Uh, yeah, we can, we can kind of like hear it. I, well, because we can see the ring. Yeah, you 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 can hear the commotion going on. <laughs> And like as he's coming in, you just hear her say, "I'm literally fifty. I am not that young." Um. Well, you don't look fifty. Oh, stop. <coughs> he something gets caught in his throat, and he's just. <coughs> and I just want her to like. Like he's just a mess. De Dennis is a mess, guys. Are you drunk? Am I? No, no, you're drunk. And then Dennis, Dennis then squares up a little bit, and he's like, "I, I challenge you for for disrespecting my name. Do you even know who I am? I'm not just uh, some guy, actually, okay? Uh, okay. I am, I I am Dennis Al Remedios." Cipriano de la Santisima Ruiz y Picasso the third. Maybe, maybe could you just shorten it down? Ma'am. So that's a little bit of a long name. Sorry, I can't understand. Well, my friend, you. my friend, call me Dennis. Uh, sorry, but you're could, not my friend. Me, could could you friend. have this discussion away from our table? We're eating here. Yes, apologies. Yes, kind of I like... challenge. Yes, let's settle this in the ragged ring. Oh, dun, you dun, dun. Go? Uh, oh, no oh, uh, I want to go. I have five <laughs> ideas right now. First idea, your face. Second idea, my fist. Se third, third idea, my other fist. Fourth idea, my sword. Can, can we just go already? Fifth. Let's just finish this. Kind um, of just like pushes him into, just, like pushes him back. 
Like we're going, we're doing. We're that. going. All we're right. Going. <laughs> Returns to the young guys like, oh, they're going. <laughs> they're going. All right. They're going. Get in my dice out, boys. Get in the dice out. So serious to see. And as this is, and Odra, you you just walk in to see a a gnome. Pushing, uh, the most ostentatiously dressed individual you've ever seen into a fighting ring. Um, she leaves. No I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. She leaves the campaign, makes a new character. Okay. It's like, um, never mind. <laughs> yeah, this Maybe I shouldn't watch this. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Interesting. Um, so like, are they like walking, like, into, so they're walking into the ring as like, I walk in. Yeah. As, as you come in, you just see, you just look over and you see a tiny little gnome pushing a man in a purple suit and afro into the fighting ring. Okay. So, they're walking by and I'm just... (laughs) What the hell? Um. Uh, what what time generally is it? It's it's <laughs> around like, uh, like s- getting around six ish. Six ish. Okay. It's getting close to six. Um. So she's gonna come to the conclusion conclusion that she's not gonna be sober for this shit. So she's not gonna <laughs> like no, this is not. I'm just gonna head over to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> and start drinking. <laughs> and as you start not. drinking, I would like you to uh nut jobs. <laughs> To roll initiative. Initiative? Okay. Already. I find it first. Wait, in the Already? words of Ace Ventura. Um, I guess I will do that, okay. Yes, please okay, do. It's gonna it's gonna be me. Not one. I, that makes sense. I'm inebriated. Yeah. I mean like I would have I would have even assumed I'd have disadvantage, so not one makes sense. So if she gets around before me. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't even... think we're using the, the... Okay, okay, the... okay. She just goes first. Especially oh, since you're that? currently at, like, seven hit points. Oh. Got a five. Okay. Okay. Plus your dexterity. Uh... So that, that would be a seven. Somehow Oh, so a mine's s- a two. Mine's a two. Yes, yours is a two. So somehow, <laughs> somehow with a seven, you're still going first. Oh, wait. Found my initiative. I'm an idiot. That works, though. Yep. So. Hey. Go. Let's go. What would you like to do? Oh, shoot. Right. Why is the... <laughs> first, first she's... First she's gonna ask. Are we gonna use weapons? Or just gonna fight it? Fist to fist. Oh. Um, do do you have what? <coughs> Sorry, my voice is also a little shot in real life. It's okay. Do you have? Do you have what? Do you have what? Of course I do. <coughs> I always carry weapons. Um, do you prefer weapons or not? Doesn't matter to me. Um. Let's just say with well, weapons. Yeah, no, oh, yes, no. no weapons. Agreed. No weapons. No. Okay, so no weapons. Okay, got it. No weapons. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. So, he immediately um, runs over to, like, throw in a punch. Alright. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack. Um, 
and... Oh my god! <laughs> my rolls are horrible! I got a nat 1. Uh, um, yeah. somehow... A lot of stuff would hit me. <laughs> Somehow, with with his stumbling <laughs> drunkenness, you you swing and a miss. It's just you you yeah. rush up and you try to punch at him, but your small stature and his unpredictable movements get the better of you. Anything oh, shit. else you'd like He's to do? He's got moves. <laughs> Wait, that's that's a strength check, was it? Forgot. Dude, maybe. Maybe people in the who are spectating me will think I'm doing like the drunken what's it called the the, the drunken, drunken fist. fist. Drunk, yeah, drunk, old man Elver wait, wait, turns to the master monk. monk. Wait, wait Jerry, can, can, Jerry, can I can I roll can I roll to embody the drunken fist <laughs> fighting stance? Uh, it will do nothing but just look cool. <laughs> on your turn, I'll let you make a performance check. Okay, but at the end of it. The, the drunken master, all they really do is try to mimic the swaying of a drunkard, so... I know, so maybe I just naturally have the natural sway of a drunkard that, like, lets me win. Uh, <laughs> or you I might just win. have the yeah. swaying of a drunkard just without the... Win, basically. I won't win. Just nah. Just to make me look cool. Make it look like I know what I'm doing. Okay, but the point of the drunken masters is that they intentionally make it so they don't lo look like they know what they're doing. I know, and that's why it works. Okay, is it my <laughs> turn? Anything uh, else you wanted to do on your turn, Pepper? I just wanted to ask, we, that was a strength check, right? Uh, the attack, it was... Uh, I don't think you get proficiency on improvised uh, attacks, so yeah, it should be roll yeah, plus yeah. your strength modifier. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Either way, a natural proficient. one is an automatic yeah. failure, so... Yeah. Yeah. You're okay. proficient in unarmed attacks, everybody is. Yeah. It's just, it does shit damage. Um, it's just that's one right, hold on. Fire. Yeah. I can't, I can't rage. Uh, you can, it's a bonus you action. You can, it's a bonus action. Right, I will rage. Woo. I get the feeling that, uh, Gummy is going to just be constantly no that's just like no, it's just that's my my that's my specialty because that's the only fucking thing i've played my he's, entire life yeah he's only played barbarians except for that one <laughs> time where you, you played a bard for like two sessions i hated it <laughs> i yeah, played you'd... the as soon as i play a bard no one else plays as anyone who can attack and i'm like why yeah, you 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 why had the the you had a barbarian there that I uh, that like it's just easy just to know terrible. that I can do damage and no matter what. And you had a one. Kensei monk that that was just built to be just uh, no built it, to not communicate part. with the team. Literally built to ignore teammates. Anyways, you uh, said you would the... like to rage, Pepper. Yes. All right. Uh. And as you go into a rage, I believe that will end your turn. Yep. Dennis, what would you like to do? Alright, we're not using any weapons, so I would like to use a spell. <laughs> oh shit, you can do spells. Alright, what spell are you going to use? Dun 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 <laughs> I would like to use Green Flame Blade. That requires you to make an attack with a weapon. Ah, uh, and I will- oh fuck, wait. Does it count with my fist? It does not. It does uh, not. It does not, because it- it requ the material component is a weapon then with hex. at least one silver piece. You do have Mind Sliver though. I'm gonna use Hex. Alright. Hex. <laughs> you place a curse on a creature you can see within range until the spell ends. You deal an extra 1d6 necrotic damage. Also, choose one ability. The target has disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen ability. So choose an ability. Um. Like, like what do you mean ability? I mean strength, dexcon, int, strength. All right. So, Pepper is now hexed. Uh. What? Where it? If there's no, uh, there's so no Dennis is just sitting there menacingly, so just... a little drunk, going great, and and 
while he does his like magic thing he like wiggles his butt and there's like a little bit of like a a bushy tail you know <laughs> and that is your one spell slot yeah, I don't know. He and he kind of like hops around like a bunny oh, while nice. he casts his spell. That's nice. his little thing. Nice. All right. Great. Anything Great. else you'd like to do on your turn? Um, Hex is a bonus action, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make an attack with disadvantage. I would have led with that, but you do want to usually cast the spell first. <laughs> make an attack with disadvantage. All right, um, because... that's an 18, and what, 13 plus what? Nothing? Wait, is is it a 13 or an 18? You said... No, you said disadvantage, so it's an 18 oh, first roll, okay. 13 second roll. It's plus 13 your plus strength, what? which is plus zero. 13. So that should be one damage plus one d6 necrotic damage. Does it hit? Uh, if it hits, which it does I don't not. Think... Never okay. mind. So wait, but you add your proficiency. Sorry. So proficiency. That's plus for what? two. So that would make it a fifteen, which does hit. What's my proficiency for? To the attack. Oh, flute. So it's a fifteen, so it does hit. Ooh. And as 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 Pepper runs up and tries to punch you, you just sw like stumble to the side with casting your spell, and then you just bring your arm around and sock her in the face. Uh, that'll be one bludgeoning two. plus one d6 two. necrotic. Two, two, two. Two I total, got two. or two, two on two my die. die. All right, so three damage total. Three. Oops, that does not put you at three health. That takes three away from your health. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn, he's. He wow, he did. Good. He did like eleven damage with one attack. That's pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Sucks to play be dude, barbarians do so much more damage, Dennis. Ah, this guy sucks. <laughs> to be fair, you're no, also no, using level your one. fist. He's level one. Yeah, and yeah, he's level one. Fist he's also level one. Level one. Level one. Level Does that one. end your turn? Yeah, that ends my turn. Alright. Pepper. Alright. Like um, the only thing I can do really is sock him again in the face. Alright. It might be a bit hard to reach his face, but you can at least go for the yeah, kneecaps. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either the kneecaps or the shins. Alright, roll an attack. Does my strength hex do anything okay, to... Uh, it does or... not. It's only I for ability count, checks. Sorry. Ah. I got... Eight. So is this... This... Is it, it would be... my plus strength? Roll plus strength plus proficiency. So for you, it should be... Plus five. Okay. Well, I got. I rolled a 16. Uh, 16 plus five, that's gonna be 21. Dennis, I'm pretty hey. sure that hits you. Uh, <laughs> no! I actually <laughs> have. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> uh, so f the damage for that, I believe, will be one plus three plus two, because rage. So, Dennis, you take six points of bludgeoning damage. I got, like, one HP. Or two HP. <laughs> one. 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 Fuck. As, as you, like, <laughs> sock her in the face and she stumbles a little and, and flicks a bit of, like, saliva away, she then just comes back and slams her fist into the side of your leg and you just, like, collapse. <laughs> Dang. Did I tell ya? Anything else you'd like to do, Pepper? Good. Dennis, what would you like to do sitting there at one health? <laughs> um, cast Witch Bolt. You used your one spell slot. Oh no. Level one. Uh... Level one. You also you need to make a concentration check too, see if you hold. Oh that. yeah, you do have to make a concentration check. So please that was roll more a than concentration half. check. Uh, cause that was more than half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to roll a ten or higher, cause that was uh, six damage to you. Well, it was the fourteen. So that you you do maintain concentration on hex. What's mm. mind sliver? Mind Sliver is a cantrip 
it is uh, the target has to make an intelligence saving throw or take 1d6 psychic damage and subtract 1d4 from the next saving throw it makes before the end of your next turn. I'm gonna just cast that honor just to be an asshole before <laughs> I go unconscious. Okay. Okay. Alright, Pepper, okay. I need you to make an intelligence save. Fuck, oh, if I like no! use my hex to. If I use my oh, hex. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, barbarian. Sweet. <laughs> no, but I should have used my hex on intelligence. What the mm. fuck? It doesn't affect saving throws. Oh. Yeah, okay. it only affects ability Golden checks. 11. 11 yeah, minus that's 1, minus that's a 10. One. That does not succeed, so Dennis, go ahead and roll 1d6 psychic damage. Woo! Uh, oh, it's 6! Six. 6! Oh. Pepper, you, you, as you're, as you're, as he, like, falls to the ground... Is my, hex, you're... Is my hex, hex active or no? It is, so, but, hold on, let me see if that counts for hex. Uh... It probably doesn't. Is it's not a, uh, an attack, and it's not... Yeah, you know, that's not an attack. Whenever you hit it with an attack, it is a saving throw ability, so no, it would not. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. But, Pepper, as you, like, uh, as you knock this guy to the ground, uh, and <laughs> as he falls and you're, like, about to finish him, you just feel the sudden piercing pain in your mind. Uh, oh, shit. You take six points of psychic damage. That, uh, that was my action, hey. right? Uh, yes, that was your action. It should be at five. Okay. Okay. Any, okay. Any, anything else you'd like to do? I would like, to, am I within five feet? Uh, you are, yes. But I'm prone, right? Yeah. No, sort of. No. Not mechanically no. For speaking. This, for, I, I'm just collapsed. But Narratively this... speaking, sort of. Mechanically speaking, no. You're like on your knees, sort of. Can I move 30 feet on my knees? Um, you can, you can t pick yourself back up. You also do have your, uh, Fey Touched ability. If you wanted to use oh. that. Because that'll get you away faster. I would want to, well, I'd have to leave, like, the range and I would take opportunity. Uh, you would take opportunity if you move. You wouldn't take an opportunity attack from, from, uh, from the Fey Touched ability, I don't believe. Oh, then I'd use that one step. for sure. All right. So, uh, and then as you're like clutching your temples, you open your eyes, and where where once was this purple individual is now just a puff of purple mist. Where would you like to appear, okay. Dennis? Um, can I to be in the air or no? Uh, I. I mean, you can. I what? think technically you can, but you immediately fall. I would as like to be. Rules, so. I would like to be if if the dome is tall enough, fifteen feet sh directly above, of her. All right, and then you immediately <laughs> oh. fall down onto her. And oh. now I have okay. to do some weird rulings because I don't know if there are actually rules for falling onto a creature. I think usually the go-to rule is just, like, split the fall damage between you. Do you want to give um, them a chance to dex, dex out of it? I mean, she has she has no real way to see it coming. You really don't. Like, <laughs> she... I mean, if, even if, if you're not going to argue with it... Oh, if you're I, not going to argue, then sure. I, I, mean, I, would, I would say that there's no I, way for her I, to realize that she has I'm to sorry, dodge. But... Yeah, I was just. I'm sorry, but my intelligence. Is with no, yeah, but with one. with Dennis being drunk right now, he just does not <laughs> care. He's like, fuck this. No, so he, he, each he's of like, you. Dude, what the hell? He's like, each of you takes two points of bludgeoning damage from falling, which brings okay. you to zero, Dennis. Yep, negative um, one. So you are unconscious, and uh, Pepper, you actually take one point because you're raging. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, Yay. There you go. And, D and Dennis just like falls down on top of you, and then his body just rolls off to the side, unconscious. So, af as he's unconscious, I'm gonna cast prestidigitation to make it look like he pissed himself. <laughs> Dude, you what the <laughs> fuck? You can you can use prestidigitation to to actually soil one cubic foot of material, so you can actually just make him. <laughs> it's gonna it's just it's gonna. Look but it's not gonna like. 
Like, I don't, I don't want to like be that much of a dick, but it's gonna look like you definitely did. All right. Dude. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Uh, and at this point, the <laughs> hex goes away because uh, he's unconscious, and the curse, the 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 rage also would go away because uh, combat ends. What would you all like to do? He kind of just like is like, okay, that just happened. Yay, one. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like excited that she doesn't freaking won. <laughs> but that's not so much of a surprise for me, but it was a new, new opponent, so she was like, whoa! Kind of like surprised. Mm. Alright. Anybody gonna do anything with him, or are y'all gonna just leave him lying there? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and. Wait, 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 wait. I, wanna, I actually want to, like, carry him. <laughs> like, pick him up. <laughs> I don't know if, I don't know if you're big enough to pick victory. him up, but, but you can you can definitely drag him. Okay, okay. I'll drag him. I can drag him. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, like, now. I'm like a man <laughs> size hand. I just, like, drag him and slide him. Where, where are you going to drag him to? Uh, just... Uh... Maybe, like, where the barrels are or something. Over here. Just prop him up against the barrel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically. Just, just gonna leave him there. No. And then just right. <laughs> What are the rest of y'all doing down here? Oh, wait. No, wrong screen. Down here. It's really confusing to. DMing this with two different screens. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> well, that was something! I have nothing else to say. <laughs> 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 I'm very happy I didn't take that bet, I guess! <laughs> uh, such a shame. And... As the evening, so he awkwardly just sits there. <laughs> <laughs> Ever, with Odra just drinking at the bar. As love that. As the evening progresses, uh, one moment. Uh. set this up ahead of time because I only had two months to prepare and that was clearly not nearly enough. Yeah, you're right. Jerry, next time we'll wait even longer to have the session. <laughs> Trust me, I'll come up with something to conflict. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm going to be preparing different stuff next time, so I don't have to, I don't have to worry about the this preparation, that's that's not a problem. That's ah, okay, we'll still give you the extra time, man. Anyways. <laughs> I think I gotta walk my dog, but... <laughs> yeah, I gotta fold my... my uh, as the evening progresses, eventually you see a dwarven individual make his way into the bar. Uh, and head over. Ah, you're here. Ah, uh, your room, the, the private room you requested is waiting for you. Over there. Same room you were in before. Right. And anybody who's here to meet with me, come along. And he heads over. I'll also go. Yeah. Hey, do I hear this? Him? <laughs> do I hear this? Uh yeah, I'd say you probably do. And then while they're all going, Dennis is going to roll a death save. Uh, no, Dennis. Dennis was beaten into unconsciousness, not into 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 death territory. He, he is so unfunny. He's still unconscious, so right? I, uh, I'd I say eventually he Dennis comes over? to. Good, good. I was gonna say, could I drag Dennis? And then I'm, and then that knocks a little bit of the alcohol out of his system. Enough that I'll remove the poison condition and 
Thank you. Let's just uh, drag you people over here. We'll call him at 1 HP. <laughs> yep. Uh, I should probably not have him walking around at zero. That. There we go. He's a zombie. And Craig, I assume you also make your way in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's pretty safe for me to assume that that's who I'm probably here for. Yep. And just as he's about to close the door, one final individual makes his way in. And Take makes his way. way. Taking his Come way. On, down we gotta down. we gotta he's have our own past. bits. We can't Shaking just copy past. critical. He's leaving the bed. <laughs> Wait, nope, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. Too, one well, final individual have, makes his way over. Oh, his his headphone was on the wrong channel. He's he's good now. He's good now. Yeah. I mean, my bit is gonna be every time the rabbit guy passes out, I'm gonna make it look like he pisses himself. So. One final <laughs> individual makes his way in. Are we Maverick. in chat? New bit unlocked. If you would like <laughs> to describe your character. Uh, sure. As you can see on screen, but for those of the visually impaired, <laughs> he has a dark gray skin with red tribal tattoos adorning his face, torso, legs, and arms. And he carries a bow that is looks to have bits of branch and wood carved out of them and if you look closely you can see that the bow gives a kind of hint of like a blue aura off of it i'm really sorry i just got back my laptop just I... wow i have it yes. i'm so sorry mm. i don't know what just happened so... i literally died. lagged sorry mm -hmm. um, you died. I yep. died. Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I didn't hear, like, almost a single word you said. I apologize. Uh, all layman's terms said. Uh, gray skin, he giant, he got red tattoos. And oh, okay. he's not wearing pants. Okay, were you just describing yourself? Yes. yes. Okay. And now he'll describe his character. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason I turned off the camera. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the camera isn't really visible on here, anyways, because port forwarding. Woo! Woo! Yay. Woo! Whatever the hell that means. Because port forwarding isn't an option on my campus Wi-Fi, but hopefully I will be getting a Wi-Fi router that'll enable us to all actually be on Foundry, so that I won't have to be controlling all of your tokens. Nice. Yay. Anyways, this one last individual makes his way into the room before Gundren closes the door. Ah, oh, glad you can make it. I say nothing. Right. Well. <clears throat> You're all here for the job, I assume. I met with most of you, but there are a couple of you here that I don't recognize. Namely, you two, and he points to Craig and Odra. So you're, you're all here for this, right? For the job? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Yes, awesome, indeed. Chris Ham. Glad to hear it. Um, right. Uh, I was a bit vague before. Um, kind of just because, you know, uh, Otherwise, somebody might just, like, go, Oh, I don't need to show up to this. I can just take up the job, and then I won't know that they're taking up the job. And it's just a... I mean, it it's it's not a smart idea, because then I wouldn't know to pay them, and they wouldn't be getting the payment for the job. But um, I've had people try to do things like that with jobs before. Uh, so, anyways, I'm rambling. Um... <clears throat> Uh, the, the job that I brought you all here for, um, my brothers and I, uh, accompanied by, by, uh, my, uh, the, the man I've hired as a, a guard that some of you met, uh, Sildar, um, we're headed, uh, to the town of Phandalin and the region around it, uh, for 
uh, a bit of an, an undertaking uh, of sorts. Um, and we have some supplies that we need uh, for this undertaking. We need we need them to be uh, brought to Vandalin. The problem is we've uh, we've procured them, but uh, well, they're not going to be ready before we need to leave. We're, it's a bit time sensitive what we're doing, so we need to be on the road probably either tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, the the cartload of goods will be ready in probably three days' time or so. Um, and basically what I'm looking for is a group of people to escort the cart from here to Fandolin and uh, ensure that it ends up in the hands of um, my friend uh, Elmar Barthen, owner of Barthen's Provisions, um, and make sure that it makes it there unharmed. Roads can be a bit dangerous, I don't want bandits looting my goods and such. So that's the job. Um, I'm prepared to offer, I'd say, ten gold per person for the delivery. Ooh. That sound agreeable to everyone? Sure. Sounds good yeah. to me. Sounds good to me. If you recall, Gundren, we made a deal. Yes, uh, I do. Um. Uh, but that is. Uh, neither here nor there. Uh, it's, it's, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, since we've all agreed to the price and the, the job, um, the cartload of goods, uh, once it is prepared, I have requested that it uh, be set up um, in in the hands of the guards near uh, the the gate the southern gate leading onto the high road um, and uh, all you have to do is uh, a few days hence head to that gate and request of the guard and, and tell the guards uh, that Gundren sent you and they'll, they'll provide you with the cart and send you on your way. Um, Great. I'm not expecting any threats on the road. Um, if all goes according to plan, this will be the easiest ten gold you've ever made in your life. You're just sitting, driving a cart from point A to point B. But of course, the roads can be dangerous, so there's no way to know for sure. Um, I uh, wish you safe travels, though. Uh, one more thing, since I, I don't recognize all of you, if I could just, um, if I could just ask your names... Just a little introduction, maybe. You Let's may go call around me the Craig. Table. Craig. Craig. Got it. I know you, of course, but not all of these people do. Dennis? Yes, I am Dennis. Yeah, as, as we figured out. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that was an uncharacter laugh. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, oh. for the people I don't know, I'm Pepper. Um. And, and <gasps> you? Oh, and Elmer. Yeah. Uh, I'm Odra. Odra, got it. And our, our friend in the corner over there. 
can call me Deadshot. Deadshot. Right. Well, um, uh, excellent to uh, to meet you all and to gain your help. I have places to be, I'm afraid. Uh, my brothers and I really have to get ready for our. Uh, we have a, we have a long road ahead of us. Um, so I must be off. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to meet you in Fandolin. Uh, if all goes according to plan, see you in maybe a ten day or two. And I bid you farewell. Bye. And he takes like his leave. <laughs> Well, it looks like this group needs a leader. Pepper kind of just like looks at a dead shot. Preferably and she's just somebody. Kind of like oh, I realize, scared. I realize that Odra never got a chance to describe herself. <laughs> okay. Um. What do I say? Uh, she, she's blue. I don't know. <laughs> The IRL. Oh my god, literally me. Um. Okay, so um. We don't have face cams, so you viewers can't see it. But Amelia is just solid blue in real life, like oh, yeah. skin, totally hair, yeah. eyes. No, no visible pupils or anything. Just blue. It's just like, blue. You know? Yeah, it's yeah really she is freaky. the uh, reincarnation of Smurfette. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, um... Except, um, uh, she has a bit more height, because all of Smurfette's lack of height went to Volti. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't remember how tall my character is. Hold on, one sec. Oh, this well, is the important thing. All we four know that your character ten. is that you're blue at the moment. <laughs> yeah, four foot blue DM. and four foot ten. DM, yeah. how tall are the ceilings? Uh, the ceilings are are probably around like uh, fifteen feet tall. Um, okay. Because they have to Fair they enough. have to have room for because they have a, a an arena that has to have space so that people that have various different capabilities have room to utilize those capabilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Yeah, y'all are over cool. three foot two, so. Congratulations. Imagine Sorry. being short anyway. Um <laughs> I mean so, you're only four ten. <laughs> that's In not important life. right now. Anyway. <laughs> but okay. So um yeah very short for an elf. Um uh and... <laughs> yeah, she has like a coat that's like a little too big for her, so like you don't know. And then she's carrying around a spell book or what seems to be one, and she has a journal on her. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything important. Nice. All right. And now back to your regularly scheduled role playing. Yay! Yeah, no, uh, Pepper just kind of looks over at, um, a shot and is just like, I'm not gonna mess with him. <laughs> okay. Are we gonna, like, uh, make some plans or something? I mean, I know where he is. Also, I am highly against the idea of this man being our leader. And he points to Dennis. I too would prefer someone who doesn't soil themselves in a fight. And Dennis, at this point you look down and you realize it appears that you did indeed soil yourself. Oh. <laughs> Dennis is utterly... he's embarrassed. He's very embarrassed. <laughs> is there a change of pants just lying around anywhere? Craig will, snap, Craig will snap his fingers and you just dry up. Oh, it wasn't actually wet. It was. Well, no, you were. But... Oh. <laughs> oh. He just has <laughs> yeah. a magic laundry spell. <laughs> yeah. 
Wow. I don't even know. I kind of feel bad for him. He has the spell bleach. <laughs> <laughs> of the house of Clorox. Very, very useful for dealing with laundry stains, but it can also be a very effective poisoning spell. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't suppose it would be too much to ask some of you to be perhaps a little bit more sober for the job. Yeah, I can uh, do it. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, Dennis, I mean, Dennis, he's been drinking all morning, dude. He's recovering. Yeah, he, yeah. This is his, his second hangover of the day. You have a... Uh, you got a sobering spell, too? Uh, I don't have any spells. There's, so, some, there's something uh, like that, but... Might I ask all of you, have any of you done a job like this before? No? Not never, in never. 500 uh, years! I guess fight for a living. Well, <laughs> looks like I'm the most experienced one here, so I'll be taking charge of the whole damn thing. Sounds fine to me. Well, now hold on a second. If oh, we're talking hurt. about experience. I walk over in my seven foot five frame over to old man Elmer. <laughs> and you just hear. <laughs> what sound was that? I couldn't. It was the sound of, of very heavy footsteps. Okay, that makes sense. And <laughs> I pull my hood back. The, the footsteps of a man that is 350 pounds. Yeah. I pull back my hood and I am completely bald with red tattoos kind of going all over my face. He's got points of the huge burn marks all over my body. Ah, experienced man in battle as well. Yeah, Should I've done. Likely. It's been a bit, but back in my day, when I was just a right young and like you, I was quite a fierce wizard. <laughs> I think it's just as likely he just fell into a fire pit one day. No, that's not true. I got this from fighting a great red dragon. You would not believe it. It was an incredible battle. I, can I roll in? Can go I roll ahead and make an insight check? check. I was gonna say. <laughs> and like, go ahead, feed me your bullshit. And Elmer, go ahead and roll an undisclosed charisma check. I, uh, you, you yourself are the one to determine whether it is. I mean, your persuasion and deception know, skills are the same. So just roll, roll a charisma check. I suppose so. As they're talking, I'm sorry, but like Pepper's just like quietly googling. Just... <laughs> that is a seventeen. Damn. Huh, that's a twenty-one. Oh. This this old man is. He played you've... one. He played knick knack on. My <laughs> you you have not really interacted with an individual like this. It is impossible to tell if he's telling the truth or if he's just completely out of his mind. I was gonna roll an because... insight check to see if I could smell the alcohol on his fucking breath. <laughs> uh, that would be a perception check and you don't need okay. to make a perception check for that. Well, I'm not drunk Wait. anymore. I'm just a little hungover. A little. Anymore? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I suggest all of you get some rest because we have a long day tomorrow. Yeah, I, know I, I still have. think we might want to like discuss the route or something. Who he has the details of the route? Yeah, That's what ready. I thought. Oh, think about that. We should have asked. Yeah, that he said it wasn't going to be ready for about three days anyway. So uh, that's true. All right, well, leave? let's rest up until then, and then I go to leave. All right. And 
the this towering figure just storms out of the room. So I guess we just meet back here, right? What is that to me? Oh, actually, wait, do we have to, like, rent this room out or something? Oh. I don't really have any money. I mean, I have some money. We could just say that Gundren's picking up the tab for us, right? I guess so. We could also just, like, meet outside. That's, that's... that's and not pay money for it. <laughs> that might be a good idea. All about the rest of you, but I'm not from around here, so. Makes it comfortable. I have like three days to spend somewhere. Eh. I might as well just find me. Jerry, quick question, out of character. How far away is my <laughs> tower? Um. Yeah. <clears throat> I forget. Did we said it? We said it was outside the city, right? Or did we say it was? I, I think city? it is outside the city. Yeah, I think? that's um, a good fit. I would say. I think it is closer than. Uh, I'd say it's probably like a day's travel on foot. Okay, probably not worth it then. Maybe a little less. Yeah. Are we good then? I mean, I'm good. I'm okay. gonna go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else said they were good. They just <laughs> like stood and like awkwardly staring. Okay, I pressed. I pressed oh, the button be a very to. Long adventure. I pressed the button to move the token to the right, and it moved up. I'd just <laughs> like to acknowledge that. Nah, just Pepper just just gets up on the table. And just... <laughs> <laughs> she's just gonna go and go to bed. She's, she's fine. Pepper heads off to hey. bed. And you're left with the four of you in here. I'm up, please. Die, fuck, great red dragon! As soon as he starts talking, I just leave. I don't believe it. <laughs> Kids these days, and I leave. Kids these days. I like how I dragged everybody else out before deleting them, but I just deleted Elmer out of existence. Elmer <laughs> <laughs> ceases to <laughs> exist. Right there. Yeah, all right, good night! Fades out of reality. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, he was telling the truth. <laughs> the most powerful wizard of them all. Yeah. That's why I carry around a giant hammer. I cast hammer. <laughs> I'm using that. <laughs> That's good. <coughs> I think e eventually think everybody makes um, their way off. You need to, to get an iron night. hammer so you can say, I cast iron. iron. <laughs> nice. Good idea. <laughs> As the next day rolls around, what would you all like to do? Uh, do we have until this starts? Three? What's that? We have three days until this starts? Uh, you have about three days uh, before um, before the cart is going to be ready and available. Okay. Um, I might might do another fight. Yeah, I'm kind of I was kind of thinking I kind of want to fight someone. I've never actually played I mean, a barbarian before, so I want to test it out. It's literally my job, so. All right. Well, if you if you want to fight, then I'm I'm game. In character. Right. Let's go. All Just right. A three foot two. So Jerry, next uh, next day, should we start with uh, uh, this fight somehow uh, one, being initiated? Yes. One moment. I'm before, I'm quickly setting that, something up. I need to up. run out real quick. 
I'll be right back. Wow, so un- We're gonna attack her while she's gone! It's like- Tree damage! I don't know, make me get food or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, one moment. I'm trying to figure something out here. Uh, I have to do math. Um, uh, because I'm trying to set something up. So, you know, well, uh, Google. well... You're, you're showing this to us, by the way? Yeah, Google Calculator, okay. Oh, right, it's just broadcasting that. Okay, let me just open a new tab. I mean, I was just going to Google Calculator anyways. Um, but, let's see. Uh, cause I, I'm ju cause, I mean, Volti walked away to get, to do a thing anyways, so, um... Uh, shoot, uh, one moment, um, I am trying to figure out the dimensions of my, st uh, computer screen <coughs> for reasons, uh, that's it for reasons. That's nice. All right. See, now we've got a nice backdrop okay. of Neverwinter that we can uh, just put up here while, while we're waiting on Volti to return because we were uh, supposed to have a fight, but then Volti just left. Uh, Other characters can also up. do something while we wait, potentially. If, do any other characters have anything that they'd like to do? If not, we could just use this moment to take a quick break. Uh, like, take five. Up to y'all. just be kind of writing in his journal about what's been going on the past couple days. I'm back. Sorry. Oh, you're back. Welcome back. <laughs> I apologize for interrupting. How dare you. You've ruined everything. Anyways, as the next day rolls around, and as I put the darkness level back to zero so that it doesn't look like it's the evening, uh, Elmer and, uh, and, or Old Man Elmer, sorry, and Pepper. Old man. And, uh, since we rested, we get hit points. Yes, you, you regain everything that you, uh, lost. Cool. As Elmer and Pepper make their way into the Ragged Rain. Oh. I'm, I'm just assuming we, we, like, agreed to fight, just, uh, just yes. for the hell. Than, like, getting no, into, you uh, you uh, picked up like... the you picked up the gnome and just <laughs> carried her into the room. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, y'all? Damn! Would it, would anybody <laughs> else like to join in on this, either as a combatant or as a better or anything? All Spectator? join. In. Yeah, as let's see how everybody's uh, what everybody's skills are like. Wait, Her. just give me how we decide our leader. <laughs> Bro, I was like, wait, no. <laughs> Is anybody else joining, or is it just the three of them? Come on, man. Don't be pussies. Excuse me? Uh, not you. You're already in it. I'm insulting everybody but you, actually. Wow. Uh, okay. And the Goliath. The Goliath right. is also in there. <laughs> I think you're confused. <laughs> Maybe I am confused. It's, but... a, it's not targeted at you. Odra, Dennis, Craig, would any of you like to join the combat before it begins? 
Yes, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> You'll have to join us if you can just be a bitter. Dennis is not joining combat. Yeah, that's fair. I don't care. He's busy that. shitting himself. <laughs> Odro, would you like to join? He's recovering. I'm like debating if I should join or just like spectate, you know? And Craig, would you like to join? I want to just spectate. That's fine. Uh, I might be doing like watch. some. Alright, so it's just Come on, a three way. Come on, guy, you should join in. It'll be fun. <laughs> Alright. Three-way combat. I would like the three of you to please roll initiative. Ooh, I can do that. Let's see how badly this goes. Eighteen. Eighteen. It only go well. All right. Mm -hmm. Eighteen for old man Elmer. Fifteen for Pepper. And Deadshot. Eighteen as well. 18 as well. Uh, so, Deadshot has a higher dexterity score, so Deadshot is going to go first. Okay. Alrighty. Hey, Jerry, real quick. Hey, to interrupt. I've noticed that in my notes I have a maul instead of a warhammer. <laughs> uh, I, I... One moment, let me check. Oh, wait. Are we using weapons for this fight? I think I think you had established that you wanted a maul because it's bigger, but I can switch it to a warhammer if you'd like. Yes, I, I just said warhammer because it's what's in my uh, it's what's in my character, but uh, maul works too. Oh. I'm cool with that. I was gonna say it's what's a maul like, is just a a really big hammer. Yeah. Okay. I'll stick with the maul. Are we using wrong. weapons for the fight? Yes. yes. Okay. I didn't get an exact. Or at least I'm, I didn't hear I'm angry that you asked. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, In fact, I'm so me. angry. I want it to be a fair fight. Oh. In fact, I'm so angry that on my turn, I'm gonna rage, but it's not my turn yet. All right, Deadshot, <laughs> you're going character. first. What would you like to do? Uh. Hmm. Since we're gonna be close combat, and I know these both idiots are probably martial characters. I come in with my battle axe instead. Uh, and all right. I look at old man Elmer, <laughs> and I want to use uh, and I declare him as my favorite foe. All right. As a bonus mm -hmm. action. So. And now, I roll to hit him. He is marked. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, shit. And then, favored foe. Uh, that, that is, is one a... of your two uses. You get two yep. uses of That it. is a 19 to hit. Uh, hits. 19 hits, yes. Okay. Uh, although technically you can only declare a person as a favored foe after you hit them, but since you hit them, it doesn't matter. Uh, cause it includes okay, when, because it includes when you mark it. Oh, okay. So. Alright. So, that hits. And I only have one attack, cause we're level one, cause you hate yep. us, that's right. And you said uh, you, were, you were doing your, your axe, right? Yes, battle axe. So, right. and it, I'm wielding it versatile, so it's 1d10 plus 3. Alright. Slashing, plus the d4 I get from, uh... Yep. So that's eight plus three plus D four. Where are you? There. Elmer, I hate to alarm you, but he's already done eleven damage before rolling the D four. Yeah, I know. Oh shit. Plus four. Elmer, so you're unconscious. unconscious. <laughs> 15 damage. PvP at level 1. Oh, no. That is exactly my hit points. Wow. It, technically, it, your hit points are 14, actually. What? They're 15. I have it as 15 on my character sheet. So, I kind of brandish the no, axe a little bit in both hands, and I step further back into the corner. 
Alright, oh, there's fuck. no corners, it's a circle. <laughs> it, it okay, a well, circle. I step backwards at a diagonal. Like that? Oh, yes. And PvP I wait at for, level one. I wait for. Hey. Was was your strike me. to was your strike to Elmer lethal or non-lethal? Non-lethal, of course. Okay, it would be kind of funny <laughs> if I actually just died. <laughs> just died right then and there, just like ah. All awesome. right, Elmer. You're I'm, you're unconscious. unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> if I had been able to rage, I might have survived that. Yep, because you would have taken half damage. Uh, yeah. Pepper, okay. what would you like to do? <laughs> well, I want to first start out with raging. Uh, good call. Because I am, <laughs> I'm mortified. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm scared. Can I roll an intimidation check? Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't think you need to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But luckily, kind of. when a creature is raging, it it let it sort of does things and stuff. All right. So that's your, your bonus thing. action. Okay. I don't think I can reach him, can I? Yes, you can. That's 5, I 10, can? 15. Uh, well, the speed is 25. That is... Uh, you, 25 can get you to right there. Will that be within, like... That is adjacent to him. Reach? That is adjacent, is that yeah. Reach or no? Yep. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I need to hit, so... So I'm going to take out my Warhammer and hit him. All right, go ahead and roll an attack. I can't do too much. Attack? Yep. I rolled a 16. Is that including that your modifiers? No. I mean, it hits either way, but... Yeah, that hits either way. We're but level fucking that one. Is, that would be plus... Five, I believe, so that would actually be a 21. Great. Yeah, that hits a lot. <laughs> I am also using... Yeah, yeah, plus five. Go ahead and roll damage. So, that would damage be... 1d8? Uh... Plus three? If you're wielding it with two hands, I believe it's 1d10. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I probably would be... Uh, it um, is 1d10 <laughs> plus your strength modifier plus 2 because you're raging. So 1d10 plus 5 in total. Because I'm not familiar with it. 1D10. d10 is the weird looking one. They're all weird looking. What do you think? It's the one that doesn't look symmetrical from every angle. This one. I think this is... It's the one that has ten sides. Is that what D10 means? <laughs> yeah. It's the one that has a zero on it. Oh, okay. Got it. Sorry. I had it. I just wasn't for sure. Uh, well, technically several of them have zeros on it. If, if we're being... Yeah. Here. Actually. I mean, the D20 really... has a zero on it. Two zeros. Zero okay. by itself. I rolled an eight. Eight plus five. That is thirteen damage. I have one hit point remaining. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great battle we're having here, folks. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm gonna be like one shot. <laughs> um, maybe. We'll see. You're raging. You're fine. You're raging, I you're fine. Uh, Deadshot, keep in mind you have Stone's Endurance if you'd like to use it. I do, but if I do that, I literally can just get hit again and one shot again. So I feel like I should just go for damage instead of that. Well, that's a re Probably Stone's enough. Endurance is a reaction. Yeah. Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah. That's a reaction? Yeah, Done. it's a reaction, reaction to... to taking damage. As a reaction to yeah. taking damage, you roll a d12 and add your con mod. Grand. How swell. I will use Stone's Endurance then. Alright. And add my Constitution modifier, which is okay. shit. Mm. It's, not, it's not that it makes bad. Me scared. I gain back to full. Alright. 
Let's you, go. You oh shoot! I just typed in one. I just typed in like a hundred some hit points for you. That is not <laughs> accurate. Oh, God. Uh, and now it's back to Deadshot's turn. No, oh, I'm so screwed. What would you like yeah. to do? You might not be. I don't know. Um, I mean, you're I raging, move? so you take half damage from blood yeah. being piercing and slashing. Can I move my favored bow to her as a bonus action? Uh, it cannot be moved like Hex, but you have one use remaining, so if you hit with an attack, you can apply it. Great. <laughs> so I'll just roll to attack. Great. I'm scared. <laughs> Aren't you enjoying this fight, Elmer? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm really loving it. Lots of strategy, lots of ideas going through my head. I can't wait to execute when it gets to my turn. I mean, That's I will a... say, this definitely helps with my fighting. So. 17 to hit? 17 to hit. That, I believe, oh. hits, yes. Great. Damn. I can't so wait to- So I will to... use my last use of favored foe to do extra damage, because, you know, love that. Gotta, and gotta love that. that means... Pepper is marked. Oh no. I just rolled a 10. Fuck. 10 plus, plus a d4, which is 3. No, plus 3. So, 16, so that's 16 damage. 16 have to 8 because she is raging. Oh is god. Rough. I'm so glad I raged. <laughs> I would have been dead. Not dead, but dead. I just right, rolled max so... damage on my d10. I got lucky. All right. So, wait, 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 wait. What, how many hit points? Are uh, there? you should be at six if my calculations are correct. Elmer, what are you gonna do on your turn? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It says shed a single tear. <laughs> Pepper. He's okay. he's asleep. He's going hey, red dragon. <laughs> Hey, he's fighting in his dreams. He thinks he's, he's winning in his dreams. <laughs> he's raging in his sleep. Alright, I am going... Well, I, I kind of have to do it. I don't really know what else to do. I, he's I sleeping, but angrily. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna hit um, the shot again. With my Warhammer. Alright. Because, yeah. That is a 15? 15. I rolled a 15. 15, I rolled a 15. plus 5. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And I roll a d10. d10 plus 5. Plus 5. PvP at level 1 oh. is not all that exciting. <laughs> All, uh, that's a seven. <laughs> seven. Plus five. Plus five? No, 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 no. It's seven total. Seven total. Oh. Rolled oh. A two. Well. I didn't roll a two. My turn. Yep. Uh, that's a 23 to hit. 23 to hit. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if that hits. Let me check. DM, I don't recall. Is favored foe also concentration? I can't remember. If uh, favored there. foe is—it's not a spell, so I don't believe it is. Let me check. Um, oh no, it is concentration. So you do have to make a concentration check for that. So I. So that's a. Con I just have to beat a three. Uh, no, you have to. You have to beat a ten. Concentration checks, the DC is either 10 or half the damage taken, whichever is, whichever is higher. So basically a con saving throw? Um... A con check? Yeah. Okay. I make it. 13. Okay. Alright. So, I still hit, so D10 plus another D4. Plus... Plus your strength, so plus 3. Uh-huh. So plus three. That is already a nine plus two plus three. Uh, so that's going to be a fourteen. Have to six. 
Uh, that brings... 14 had the 7. 7, whatever. Either way, it, 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 Pepper only had 6 health left, which is where I got 6 from. So, Pepper is unconscious. Oh. Marking hey. Deadshot as the victor. Congratulations, you won. Man, ever since Man. Tasha's Cauldron, Rangers don't suck as much. <laughs> so I have, I could, because I use a battle axe. That's the only reason. Well, no, with a bow, you're even more effective because uh, you aren't in close range, and at later levels, rangers can get spells relating to their uh, their bow. Yeah, but we're not starting at later levels, are we, Jerry? No, we're because, starting at because this campaign is, is very specifically designed to start at level one because it's the, the starter set campaign. Yes, but it's also boring. With some modifications. Well, that's because like, y'all haven't even gotten on the road yet. Like, we haven't even gotten into the the first section of the, the actual source book. Oh, I should probably okay. hit end combat. Yeah. Yeah, but why, yeah, so why do we have to take three I can't just be the next day. Uh, exactly. Because I had to come up with a good reason for why, uh, for why, um... Uh, uh, the guy, the dude, uh, Gundren couldn't, uh, couldn't escort the cart himself because the campaign book doesn't ever give a reason. That's why. Oh. Well, would it just be that he's not like strong enough? Well, he, it, I mean, he's going with all three of his brothers and a guy that he hired to protect himself. He's and he he's going ahead anyways on his own. So th the question that arises is why doesn't he escort the cart himself? And it's not written <laughs> into the book. So the, it's up to the DM to go, okay, well, the cart's not ready yet. That's why. Right. Love that. Anyways. Anyways, congratulations. <laughs> Who won? Uh... I'm I'm not gonna award XP for first level PvP because first level PvP. <laughs> Why is... not? Okay, Come first on. of all, because there's no no CR for a player. And I earned all... it. I earned it. Just give me some. <laughs> give him one XP. I'll give you. I one. literally bought a one v two. I'll give you <laughs> one XP per person. So I'll give you two XP. Twenty? Okay. No two. You're okay. At, you're at one hundred twenty-seven. Okay, that's nice. I, that's not what my character sheet says, but okay. Uh, it's what your character sheet on Foundry says, and your character sheet on Foundry is the authority. Well, I can't access my character sheet on Foundry now, can I? <laughs> well, I would bring it up in front of everybody, but I don't know if you want your character sheet brought up in front of everybody. Oh. Checkmate. <laughs> Hair, what are they gonna see? My level one stats? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Your background, maybe? I mean, you have your biography listed in there. Yeah, but as long as you scroll all the way down. You also have, <laughs> let's see, your languages, your damage resistances, your proficiency. Oh, yeah, learn about your languages, right. man. That'd be okay. bad. Oh your, no! Your equipment. They're gonna. They're gonna see that. They're gonna talk of... about me behind my back. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'll know what languages to speak about. I uh, speak them too. Yeah, you don't know. You don't want them to know what languages you speak, do you? I, could... I, don't I mean, care. imagine what they could do with that information. <laughs> I don't know. At level at level one, I imagine not very much. Following this combat, what would you all like to do with your day? As eventually the um... two uh, failures uh, come to. Um, but like maybe tomorrow or something. <laughs> Probably just like go back up to sleep. Okay. Yeah, sleep off your wounds. Yeah. You wake yeah, no, up. I'm immediately I'm running up to. I'm sorry. Right you wake up, fight, and then immediately go back <laughs> to sleep. <laughs> yeah, short rest. Take a nap. So, yeah. Actually, yeah. When I, I wake up. It. Yeah, when I wake up, I think I actually pick up my maul and immediately, like, slam the ground in front of me, go like, ah! 
And I look around for something like, oh, shit! And at that point, everybody else is oh. already out of the arena, and it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just really sad. He <laughs> just left you there. Actually, actually, I want Pepper to just, like, go up to the bar. And just, like, maybe get a drink or something. All right, which which bar would you like to go to? The main bar, the, the secondary bar, bar, or the upstairs bar? I think the closest one would be the secondary bar with uh, okay. with Bellevue. Just, just give me the closest one. And Bellevue gives you a drink. Ah, thank you. Oops. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. Oops. Ah. This guy. This guy. Right here. This guy. 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 This This guy. This This guy. This guy. This guy. This Something with alcohol, then. Got it. Right. And he pours you a drink and passes it down the bar. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> she just she chucks that, it down. Um, pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. It's like, can we adopt this guy into our party? I really like him. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this guy. Bellevue Brand Breaker just comes along to pour your drinks. Nice. <laughs> he just chugs down the drink. And, and then you find out he has a tragic backstory where his parents were killed by... Um, so he's a rogue. Me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. He, he, he's not. I was gonna say, why the sad rogue. music on here? Sounds sad. I mean, it wasn't sad at the start of the song. <laughs> But it's fitting when we're... <laughs> so fitting, I guess. I love this man. <laughs> He's just the mascot of, of this this show now. He's the mascot. He's the mascot. Hey. He's, he's the best guy here. Welcome to the Ragged <laughs> Ring. We're gonna get you. Oh my god, it's his famous catchphrase. <laughs> His catchphrase. Say the thing, say the thing. Say what the can thing. I get you? Yeah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love uh, okay. sh Shall we just say, for the sake of brevity, that yes. uh, three days <laughs> elapse. Um, Very easily. Anything that you all would like to do during those three days? Just sleep. Yeah, I want to run another combat. <laughs> yeah, actually, okay, I, my character unironically wants to fight him, but we can say, like, that it happens and, like, they tie, they tie or something, so no. they can't run it. You Unless you wanna, actually, it would probably take, like, like it could be really fast. Like, straight d20 rolls, whoever has the highest. Alright. We could actually do a really fast combat, though. Like, it would literally be whoever gets the highest initiative just wins. <laughs> Well, yeah, if I get a higher initiative, I win, and if you get a higher initiative, you win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess that would just be straight I'd say, to 20 I'd say time. since you're probably going to be using strength, maybe make it a strength check. Yeah, sure. How about especially we do an arm since, wrestle? Especially since strength Arm checks. wrestle? Yeah, in-character arm wrestling. So that would be an we're, athletics, we're playing or online. that would just I be a strength check? <laughs> in-character, oh my god. I'm just... Hey, hey you! I know we didn't... Uh, I know we, uh... <laughs> That fight yesterday, I wasn't quite feeling uh, up to my full strength, you know what I mean? So how about we settle this like men? And he you want me to kick your ass again? Table. No! Right. <laughs> oh, I wrestle. And he, he kind of fills, he, uh, he twirls his fingers a little bit. Oh, well, um, you just don't know when to quit, old man. <laughs> All right. That was such a character. I just, I'd like that, you that both to please roll a strength check for me. Just uh, straight strength. Straight uh, strength. Yes. Shit. Oh, can I rage first? Yes. Oh okay, shit. Great. <laughs> so that gives okay. you advantage. Indeed. 
Oh, great. I get one higher. <laughs> That's an does 18. This a, does this count as a melee weapon attack now? Okay. It does not. Um, yeah, that's a, also... that's a 12. All right. Dean. Uh, Deadshot is getting the upper hand. You're, you're starting to waver a little, Elmer. Go ahead and roll another check for me, please. Come on. Both 16? That's a 13. <gasps> yes! You managed to push it back up to the center. Oh, wait. We need some intense music for this. Hold on. Yeah! <laughs> this is important. Uh, <laughs> All right, please roll another check for me. I grab my maul with my other hand. No, I'm just joking. I unfortunately don't have that track available in my combat music here. Natural 20! That is a noise. 15. <laughs> 22, Natural 20. Baby. All right, Elmer, you are you are really pressing forward there. You're you're getting the upper hand. You're um, telling me that doesn't so instantly speak. win a natural 20? You're kidding no, me. No, but it, it... So basically the way it works is three successes from center wins you. So it's one, two is almost down, and then three is hitting the table. Uh, that got you to almost down. That's that's counted as two successes. I'd like you both to roll another strength check, please. Okay, interesting. I'm, I'm game. That's another natural 20! <laughs> I rolled a 22. I also rolled a 22 with the natural 20. So technically that's a tie, but he rolled a natural 20. Fair. So I'm gonna have to give it to him. It's really <laughs> close. Like, you're putting up a good fight, but he manages to press your hand against the table. This is a natural 20 with advantage, so it's like not as if I just rolled two 20s in a row, but yeah. still. Didn't we literally have the discussion earlier about how... Natural 20s, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, it's like he got one success well, and this, I got two successes. This so, and I only need one more success. This wasn't an automatic success. This was, it's like the rule where if you tie with initiative, it's based on who has the higher dexterity score. Except in this yeah. case, since it was a tie, it was, uh, one of them rolled yeah, a natural I'll, I'll, 20 and one didn't. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that the ranger has a higher strength modifier. And Zantio, I swear to God. <laughs> what is your strength modifier, Shane? Uh, that's not important. I win. You said you kept saying plus two. Yours is plus three, isn't it? No, no. Hey, yeah, dang. It's I, plus three. I think the dungeon master said I win. <laughs> hey, I really heard him say that I won. It is plus three. I have sixteen strength. That's crazy. Well, anyways, thanks. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I won, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank God. <laughs> oh, and I will, I will give you one XP for that, because okay. he, he got XP Bull for shit. I <laughs> killed both of them, and okay. you give him half of it, half of my XP okay. from literally slaughtering sixteen hit points, and he Dylan. just rolled with advantage three Dylan. times. Dylan. <laughs> You have 127 XP. He has one. <laughs> and? Yeah, I level up, actually. <laughs> I'm just saying. You already got a bunch of XP from your introduction. And? Because I put people in the ground. I did it again this time, except I only get two. Yeah, because this was player versus player, and it was not. There were, there were no stakes. There, were, there was just as much uh, at risk in the arm wrestle as there was in, in the trial bike. No, there was not. <laughs> no, there was no. not. I mean, <laughs> he damaged your pride. I put yeah. him in the ground. <laughs> no, Dylan, it's okay. We'll just arm wrestle 300 more times today, and then we'll both level up. Honestly, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, DM, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we have time for that. <laughs> yeah, no, let's start the first one. We'll see how far we get. Yeah, let's start the second round. <laughs> yeah, all right, so I rolled a... Uh... <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> okay, okay, now when we're done, when we're done, uh, I'll be like, ah, oh, oh, fuck, how do I do this part? <laughs> oh, let's go! 
Like, all of a sudden, there's like 20 natural 20s rolled by both of them in a row. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, wow. Wow. <laughs> so, wow, these dice must be magical. Oh, you put up a good nice. fight. You do, old man. Hey, if you can arm, if you can fight as good as you can arm wrestle, we might have a chance of living through this. <laughs> if I'd had more than one to, I mean, uh, <laughs> more than six seconds to prepare, I probably would have uh, put up a little bit more of a fight at least. Well, the not I... was going to give you that time to prepare. That's true. Well, I mean, like when I'm in the wagon though, and I see the enemy approaching, I think that'll probably be enough. Yeah, it should be. Anyway. And I hold out my hand for like a handshake. I'm excited to work with you. I hesitate at first, but then reluctantly shake his hand with my plus three strength modifier. That is a stronger <laughs> handshake than his. <laughs> I reach again and make my grip as strong as possible. <laughs> and like... Everybody around us just sees us both, like, suddenly get this really intense aura, as though, like, this we're is... somehow fighting each other, like, through just the sheer force of will. This is, this Can't is, can't tell if it's physical tension or sexual campaign, tension. <laughs> yeah. yeah, old man Elmer leans in for a kiss. <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> I would like to oh, roll was... to whisper sweet nothings. <laughs> and, then, and then while they're doing that, both of their loincloths are soaked. <laughs> I actually used the same loincloth model for both of their Hero Forge figures. Wow. So. You did? Oh my god, wow, you did. Oh my god. We're just like a married couple. Oh and god. now nobody watching this will be able to unsee that. <laughs> Okay, Jesus okay, have you... <laughs> Anything Santia, else? Santia, what's the name of your character? Craig. Craig, if you act if Craig actually does that, do you actually do that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> DM, I'm gonna send you a question. Oh, real man. quick. This is something I was thinking about earlier. Oh dear. Wait, what did I Craig do? Question. I cast press digitation on both of you so your loincloths are both wet. Oh! Okay. Um, I can just imagine Pepper just sees this out of a glance and like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I would say probably yes, Sean. Okay, I instantly turn to Craig when it happens. I say, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Put it back! Undo it! Right now, do it! <laughs> this is, this is, um... Definitely not PG-13. I'm, I'm just kind of staring at him. Oh, we lost our PG-13 rating in the first, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. I swear to God, I'm gonna turn your hair red! If you don't, don't do it! Just snap my fingers. And I undo only, uh, only, um, dead jobs. <laughs> oh, what the hell, mate? <laughs> What the? God damn it. Please. Uh, Is he crying uh, now? What did yeah, you just I start break? actually, like, I break into tears, I get on my hands and knees. No, no, that shit. God damn it. This is so I was just kind of laughing, I'll snap my fingers and then walk away. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I know press digitation. Uh, pre I know that's about what I see it. <laughs> and I, I do kind of like the, the the thing where I like make a V with my fingers and like the like I'm watching you kind of uh, hand motion. <laughs> I want out of here. And then I sit down and I get a cup of water there and I spill no it on myself. <laughs> 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 There is no escape. <laughs> That's my pants. I say, oh, you did it again. I did not piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime during the session, it's gonna happen. <laughs> what has this become? <laughs> also, I'm really surprised. It has become a work of art. I'm a really surprised <laughs> that, that 
like none of this is being instigated by Gummy as well. Yeah, he's kind of <laughs> he's chilling. <laughs> he's still got a day or two to mourn, and then maybe he'll be okay. Exactly. <laughs> No, Dennis is still recovering. Like, that was a lot for him. I mean, that was a lot for me, too, to be fair. I'm just also very angry, apparently. <laughs> like, all times. Roll Shall we sake. say, for the sake of brevity, that the next yes. three days pass by... And, and we yeah. arm wrestle 17 more times. <laughs> Off screen. Uh, and eventually the day comes when you are intended to go down to the gates in search of the cart. As you make your way down, you eventually reach the gate and are stopped by a guard. No way, a guard wouldn't stop you on the way out of the city, I'm guessing. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. But you come down yeah, to the gates Yeah, that didn't make any fun. sense. Well, no, the gates would be closed, so a guard would stop you to, uh, so that you so that the gates could open. Eventually, you come down to the gates, and the guards begin to open them for you as you are stopped by the closed gates, which are guarded. I'm... Great. So the closed gates that are guarded are the ones that are opening? Yes. Okay, you said that in a really bizarre order. Yeah, because we were walking out of a yeah. gate and there was another I, one I that said was also in a guarded. bizarre order because I I was I was rectifying my previous statement. You open the door and you find another door. <laughs> Woo! Another door. But this door opens out instead of in. You cannot open it because of the other door. You come to a clearing oh and God. you find it's horrifying. A, you come to a clearing and you find a door. Wielded by. Wielded <laughs> <laughs> by. Uh, I want to go over to one of the guards and say, uh, "We're expected to escort a wagon of supplies for Gundren." You're right, you are Gundren. Yeah, the yeah. He told me you'd be a colorful lot. Right. Um. <laughs> Derman. Yeah. You you got the the. The wagon, the coat, the, you know, the Gundren thing. Right, yeah, I'll bring a rain. And a few minutes later, uh, they wheel the cart around, pulled by, uh, by a horse, as most carts are. Here we are. Your, uh, your cart, load of goods, uh, as requested. Um... Good luck on the road out there. On the road again. <laughs> and as you load up onto the cart and make your way out of Neverwinter, I think that is where we are going to end the session because it's 3.39 and some people have to go around 4. Wonderful. Pretty sure some people is just me, but cool. Great. Yep. You're Imagine you're ruining her. everything for us, Hell yeah. Sean. <laughs> I didn't care, so I'll do it too. Love that. <laughs> I Love just that. I just read the messages that have been sent in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> Bolty has just been going at it with some guy. <laughs> Some that's guy. Boy. That's that's all he is. Just some that's guy. Just some guy he looks really familiar. Hmm. Hey, some guy. If you're still here, tell who are you. Just Go some on. guy. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's actually. I mean, Ian watching this. Hmm? Who's watching this? Being sold. My boyfriend. You know who my boyfriend is. Oh, yes, him. Yeah, he was. I don't know if he's still here. Probably not. I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't blame him either. Yeah, me either. Actually, no, yeah, that arm wrestling was pretty entertaining, I think. I do as well. Fun. That was actually pretty fun. We, especially, we bonded, the part where we almost, especially the part where we almost kissed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been. That all That has to develop over the course of the session. Honestly, we now found our new character arc. Enemies to lovers. 
enemies to lovers. <laughs> it wasn't you wetting yourself. That was like a little bit of pre uh, pre engagement. Can I, can I be the <laughs> Be the officiant of the wedding, guys. Just a little three foot two. <laughs> <laughs> you right, take well, just a super, a super like one thousand year old guy, and <laughs> I don't know how old the villain's character is, but this could be sus. Yeah. Uh, Over the age of eighteen. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, then it's fine. Just a one thousand year age difference. Not a big deal. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, I probably had sex with your great great grandmother. <laughs> nah, you probably didn't know her. <laughs> okay, well, if we're done, yeah, we're, we're gonna done. head out. Yeah. So I'm yeah. really hungry. Oh, everybody it's say bye to YouTube. Goodbye, bye, YouTube. YouTube. Later. Yep. The uh, men are gone. Uh, oh, uh, also, also, if you if you enjoyed and want to see more of the episodes, then subscribe to the YouTube channel because they're going to be yeah. uploaded. And the people on Twitch that are here. Wait. Uh, tw Streamlabs just went from saying we had two viewers to saying we have five viewers as the stream is ending. <laughs> I, <laughs> it, wait, is that all of y'all? Is that y'all joining the chat? That might be y'all. I mean, I know one of them is me. Watching. Yeah, so that's probably why it suddenly jumped in viewership. Probably. Hell yeah, guys! We got fun! Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're so popular! And oh most God, of them is wow. us! Yay! I haven't stopped the YouTube recording yet. It's still recording all of this. Okay. Damn it, I don't have a Twitch thing. Aww. Well, you guys, well, everyone here should, should be following um, this channel anyways, so. If you're not. I'm gonna try and send in the it. chat. I was trying to send in the chat. Welcome to the stream. It's about to start. <laughs> <laughs> Just say welcome to the stream. We're just about to start, y'all. All right. Well, that was fun. Now it's time for the real stream. Oh god. Yep. <laughs> all right. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, very Bye. well. Bye. Bye, -bye guys. Very well. All Goodbye. right. Ending the recording now. Yeah. Bye, YouTube.